Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? You know, it's your boy City Guys in the building. And shit, and shit. Alright, so y'all know what's up. I haven't been uploading for a while. So, you know what? I'm just gonna drop some sauce. Let y'all see some crazy shit. And then we just go right ahead and just, you know what I'm saying? Make it happen. Feel me? So, I'm just gonna go straight ahead and just pop, pop. Just go straight to it. I'll probably just create something dark, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna put up expand. Now I got this thing that I be doing lately, you know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> with some of my sounds, if it works well with the sound itself, you feel me? Yeah, I'll probably use. Uh, let me see. All right, so on the Mix your track, you know, I got my my EQ on there. Let's lower that a little bit. And then I'll just go ahead and draw the isotope vinyl on it. You know what I'm saying? Kind of gives it that little... Feel me? I think that's good enough. And then add a vintage reverb on it. That's that. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, so let me just change that sound for a little bit. Let me see if I can use it. Let's add more of this. I think that's okay. Alright, it sounds good, it sounds good. Let 
Yeah, I like the sound of that. Lower that a little bit. And then I'm just gonna go for another sound. Um, let's go for Nexus. I think I found a sound in it the other day. Um, I don't even remember where I found that. Um, I think it's in this right here. So for this song, I'm going to just pan it a little bit. So now I'm just for this for right now. I'm just gonna add some drums to it and then I'll just do some additional stuff. So I'm just gonna go here and just use this for now. Alright, so found myself with a nice 808. Sometimes when like creating your pattern, instead of just like go ahead and just flip and just do everything at once, you just add one 808 right there and you just leave it like at that, like. And let's go with the bounce, cause like, like I listening to most of these sounds lately, and these new songs coming out, like they already have that bounce. And you can't really too overcrowd it, overshadow all the sounds and stuff like that. You gotta make it like simple, not too crowded, but fire though. You feel me?
Alright, so now that that's it. Time to make sure the 808 be on point now. So I'm gonna tune that. There we go. And that right there, simple but fire right there. You know, just keep adding a few little stuff to it to make it more interesting. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to go crazy with with a lot of sounds. Yeah, like, you don't have to go too too crazy. Like for me, I like dark sounds, so I just work with the sounds that I like work better with. Makes your workflow much faster. You know what I'm saying? Even better for you. So like you gotta find your sound, like that's one of the main things with, with like being a producer. Like you gotta find your sound. Yeah, I gotta find like signature sound that you know what I'm saying that you vibe with, that you fuck with. You feel me? I think I should just put this here instead.
And the next thing with the kick, you don't have to place your kick on every single one of the 808 notes, you feel me? And just like... I'll show that video something, bro. That's why so you got takes me from before, and I get not big man. Once I see me do a lock, it's no disturbance. No man, I forgot. Cut this dog. As I was saying, though, like, for the kick, you ain't got to really, like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta really put too much to it. Just that is a space. I'll probably change the name after that. Just should have put something there for now.
All right, this is one of the ways also that you can like make your kick hit harder. Like if it sound like this, you know what I'm saying? What you do once you once you go here and just highlight it and click on side change of this track, you push this up to like probably 50 or 51 percent. That shit sound a little different. And then you just go here, go on a limiter, compression side chain and then you adjust the threshold and the ratio and they attack a little bit and give that hard hitting sound but you got to use your ear and just listen to it Sounds good, and you might see some of these, like, I don't add anything to them, like, not every sound needs, not every sound needs that EQ or this and that. Once you have good sounds that already been processed, that already been EQ and already been sorted out, you don't need to do all that. You know what I'm saying? You just need to get good sounds, not a boo-boo sound, but good sounds. Yeah, speed up your workflow, and you're good. You know what I'm saying? And that's just basically it for this tutorial right now for this dope ass beat, you feel me? So go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, you know how we do. Haven't dropped a video in a while, so I will, I'm gonna start dropping back some more. So, on some different type of trap dance hall, dark type vibe, if you want that, you feel me? So, let's go ahead, stay tuned, feel me? Peace.